My name is Guy Stern. My name was not always Guy Stern. I was born Günther Stern, a German name. But when I came to the United States in 1937, five days later I was in high school and half a year later I had a girlfriend. She said my name pronounced in English Gunther Stern was a tongue twister and she liked me, she said, but she would address me, leave me my first two letters, G-U, and add a Y, and I liked that so well, I kept it when I became a citizen at Camp Barkley, Texas. My family, uh, is despite an almost successful rescue mission on my own part, did not get out of Germany, and the last trace is the Warsaw Ghetto. I was in the Army from 1943 to 1945. It was had a vital part on my life. I was decorated for my army service. Uh, General Hodges uh, awarded me the Bronze Star, and the French gave me the uh, Legion of Honor because I had a few successes as an interrogator or interpreting German documents. I went to Detroit, Wayne State University, was an administrator for a while and then returned to my discipline, which is German language, literature and history, and spent more than 20 years, 25 years in Detroit. It's a wonderful world to open eyes to young people, to make them become excited about what you're teaching. Today, I still get letters from some of my former students. As they say that I had significant influence. I also thoroughly enjoyed the research that a professor is supposed to do. I am now the director of the Institute of the Writers of the Zeckelmann campus of our Holocaust Museum here in Greater Detroit, located in Farming Mills. I'm a member of, uh, of a synagogue, Shir Shalom, and uh, I've given some guest lectures to youth groups at invitation of the rabbis. I take part in discussion groups. I think that I opened the uh, students' eyes to a world with which they were not acquainted. Whenever I did my job well, it stayed with them. <laughs>